Darlings, it's your Auntie Glam. I'm so happy to see you on this beautiful Wednesday, the Wednesday before Easter, the Passover weekend, my angels. And for the rest of us, I'm making today a drink which I jokingly, uh, on my uh, social media posts, called the Hydroquax Quackerine Cocktail, uh, inspired by the snake oil the president's been selling everybody that has company has invested in, darling, so feel free for all of you who support the president or voted for him to get yourself some hydro quackerine to prevent yourself from getting corona this weekend. Take it on your way to church as you cluster together with all of the conservative religious right people that have made this so wonderful for all of us. And for the rest, who are staying at home, I am going to make you not a hydro quacksa quackering cocktail. What I'm actually going to make for us for our happy hour tomorrow at five o'clock Eastern time is a cucumber elderflower gimlet. Now, darlings, in preparation to make this cocktail, step over to the fossey and wash your jazz hands. Never forget to do that, my darlings. Of course, I have already washed my jazz hands in preparation. And over here where I keep my Purell, have yourselves a little Purell and step into the world of pure elegance, my angels. And now I shall tell you how to make yourselves a cucumber elderflower gimlet. Now, you know your Auntie Glam prefers gin. And today we're having gin, glorious gin. Gin, glorious gin. And uh, if it goes well, later we'll be saying, please, sir, I want some more. But for those of you who don't want gin, glorious gin, you can make this particular cocktail with vodka. So you need some gin, glorious gin or vodka, Saint-Germain elderflower liqueur. And darlings, I don't know why I had this elderflower liqueur in the house, but it seems that so many people have been asking for an elderflower drink that I decided, why not? We've got one and let's face it, at this point, moi aussi. I am an elderflower, my angels, and so it's a beautiful, wonderful thing for an ego testicle such as myself. Now, we've got gin, glorious gin, or vodka, uh, Saint-Germain. We also have um, lemon, a uh, lime, my darlings. We need to have lime. And of course, a cucumber. Now, I would recommend getting two cucumbers, one for the drink and one for later, because this self-isolation requires lots of supplies, my angels. And now, here's what we do. We take our ice and we put it in our shake, shake, shaker. And then we have two, no, darlings, three sissies. Sissy's back, my angels, the Empress of Austria. I'd used a sort of metallic device last week to make our measurements, but uh, she's back by popular demand, and I think it's sort of beautiful, because, you know, shots, that sounds so violent. So we're going to measure our liquor out in sissies, my darlings, beautiful sissies. One sissy, two sissies, Three sissies for this particular drink, my angels. And look, oh, that's the end of the sissies. Oh, goodbye, my gin, glorious gin. She served us well, my darlings. And then after three sissies of gin, you want to have two sissies of Saint-Germain. Saint-Germain elderflower liqueur. La, 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 darlings. One Two sissies of Saint-Germain. Delicioso, my angels. An elderflower for an elderflower. And then you will have two sissies of lime juice, which I've already poured into this cunning little pitcher. Isn't that a beautiful pitcher, my angels, with the gorgeous spring colors? It belonged to my mama, and she gave it to me as a housewarming gift here at the House of Whimsy. This beautiful pitcher full of lime juice, my angels. And then 
you take as many inches as you can off of your cucumber and you cut them in to little quarter inch slices, cubes if you will, and you put the cucumbers into your shaker. So you've got in this shaker now ice, gin, glorious gin, and uh, some Saint-Germain, and uh, lime juice, and cucumber, my darlings, and then you cover it up. I very cleverly took the cover off before this week's tutorial, and you shake, shake, shake it. Now, darlings, I'm putting a, 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 um, well, I'm putting something around it. Uh, uh, what is this called? A, a dish rag, my angels. Because yesterday, during my experimentations, when I did my uh, initial production, making this particular drink, it was so cold that my hand froze and I dropped it onto the floor and spilled it all over the house of Whimsy Kitchen. And darlings, you know there's nothing that peeves your anti-glam more than wasting good liquor. So you shake, 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 shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture, darlings. And then, now you could put it in a regular gimlet glass or a champagne glass or a martini glass, which I would ordinarily do. But look at that, darlings. It fits Auntie Glam's little breasticle. If you don't know about champagne glasses or champagne flutes or that sort of thing, the little small ones, these little rounded ones, were commissioned by Napoleon to fit the beautiful breasticles of Empress Josephine. Now, I don't have a problem saying breasts or bosoms or anything like that, but breasticles seem so de rigueur. And then, to uh, not to be outdone, Princess Empress Josephine had the champagne flute made, well, I'm giving, I'm being very generous to Napoleon, my darlings. She had them made, the champagne flutes, made to be the size of uh, Napoleon's hoo-ha, darlings, which is a funny word for penis. So anyway, you can drink your gimlet out of a breast or a hoo-ha penis or whatever, or just a simple depression wear gorgeous crystal glass. Now, I decided to do it out of this so you could see the beautiful color of this cocktail, my darlings, uh, in this gorgeous depression wear glass. And I did make a very large one. This is the size of two cocktails. But if you live alone, have both, darlings, and take a nap. These are very difficult times. And if you are feeling particularly generous and you have someone to share it with, well, lucky you, bless your heart. Share it, get drunk, and maybe you won't need that cucumber. But for those sissies who do, don't forget the gin elderflower cocktail. And don't forget your anti-glam. And don't forget to take care of yourselves, my angels. Self-care is all we have left. Now I'm going to try it and we'll see how it is. Oh my darlings, a gin elderflower cocktail in these very difficult times. We have to do what we can to get through. So we'll see you tomorrow at 5.30 for your Auntie Glam's Angel Swill. That's what we'll call it. Angel Swill. Auntie Glam's Angel Swill Happy Hour. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, nobody loves you more than your Auntie Glam.